Greetings, everybody. It's JC, otherwise known as Jonathan Cross. And this video is just going to be about real talk. It's not going to be teaching anything. It's not going to be about showing what's going on. For those of us who can see, we know what's going on. We know where this is going, where this is headed. And back at the beginning of 2012, I had a kid. And uh, I did something very different with my life before that. I was really good at it and I made a lot of money. And then when I had a kid, I sat back and I thought to myself, I gotta change the world. I knew the whole time growing up that this world was crazy. The people in it acted insane. I knew that the way that the governments ran and the way that the people treated each other and just how we act towards one another, how we act in social groups is completely backwards from what life is really about, from what's really going on. And so when I sat down and I thought about it for a really long time, I decided, well, how do you change the world? You know, what do you got to do? And basically I came up with the idea that start going to the law library. You went to school for a couple of years to study law, why, why not go to the law library, figure it out, because everybody on this planet, and I don't care where you live, everybody is governed by law, in one form or another. If you live in an Islamic country, you're governed by Islamic law, Sharia law. If you live in France, you're governed by civil law. If you live in the middle of Africa, you might be governed by the law of nature. You might be governed by the law of might makes right. If you live in China, you might be governed by the law of dictatorship. But everybody, everybody in this world is governed and controlled by law. So I figured that that's where I should start. And so I started and I studied. I went down to the law library. I started taking pictures of law books with my phone. I have over 500 gigabytes of law book pictures and law book images on my hard drive. I've spent thousands of dollars on law books and books that are very, very old. And I've done all of this to try and change the world for my little son, for my little man in training. And I was doing good, you know. I, I started this YouTube channel, kind of lay down the basics for people of what I had learned. And then I started helping people in real world situations. In real court, I've helped people go in and out of court numerous times. I've seen some people stumble on their face. I've seen other people pull it off. And it's interesting. It's really, really interesting where this information and where this knowledge will take you. But, I just gotta say, I'm kind of ashamed of the world that I see around me right now. I mean, I sat down with a friend, he's my biggest fan. He loves what I do. He's seen it pulled off numerous times. And, 
I was telling them about Henry Ramo and making this documentary and oh we're gonna get the people behind us and they're gonna listen and they're gonna support and he just said John I think you're a little idealistic I don't wish to bust your bubble but people really just don't care about anybody except themselves if it doesn't have to do with drinking a beer with their friend on the weekend they just don't care they don't care about other people's problems they don't care about court they don't care really about government or what's going on in society everybody just thinks to themselves leave me the hell alone and they don't know that by saying that they're going to enslave themselves. By saying that, nobody's going to stand together when the government comes and takes their property. And it's sad. And I didn't want to believe them. But it's true. It really is true. Sean Mann and myself, along with a group of dedicated hard-working individuals exercised every administrative process that we could do for Henry Ramo and basically everybody told us the government can just steal your property and hand it to somebody else a judge can just take your property take what you have worked your entire life for and give it to his buddy because he sits up on a bench in a black robe that's okay and just because you were in that courtroom to help that 87 year old man it's okay they threw you in jail for 48 hours even though he didn't have a lawful order or any jurisdiction it's okay just because we don't wish for you to help anybody else in society. We don't wish for you to help anybody else in public. We don't wish for you to help any other man or woman protect and secure their property. Because that messes with our plans. And if these words aren't chilling to you, I don't know what is. All I know, people, is that I have done everything I can. I have studied as hard as I could. I have sacrificed as much as I can sacrifice. I have given everything I have to this cause. And I have the information, I have the knowledge, I know how to teach, but I'm nothing. I am nothing if the public won't help back me up. I can't do it alone. Sean Mann can't do it alone. The group of people that we have, we can't do it by ourselves. And if we fell, if we fell, God help us all. Because they're going to take everything. They're going to take absolutely everything. So for all of you people that can't wait to turn off this video so that you can get back to your social media. So that you can get back to the polarization, get back to people who think like you, get back to your democratic or republican views, get back to I'm an, on the left wing or the right wing, but you're being flown by the same bird. For all of you people, I'm sorry. Because you're truly going to deserve what you get. And for everybody else, 
you can't allow this divide and conquer strategy to win. You cannot argue with your brother just because you don't like what he has to say. You cannot argue logic just because it doesn't fit in your world view. You have got to do something. And the time is now. And there's not much time left. Anyways, thanks everybody for listening. I hope you tune in on Wednesday for the Common Law Shamanism Word Nerds. If you want to check us out on Facebook, it's Common Law Shamanism on Facebook. Just go and ask to join and we'll probably let you in. Unless you got a really sketchy page. <laughs> we, we might not let you in then. <laughs> so, I'll have more videos coming out. But this was serious. The only reason they arrested me is because I'm helping you, the public. And if you won't fight for yourself, Who's going to fight for you? I am just conspiracy. And I just wish to conspire with other good people on this planet to leave a better world for future generations than the world that we all grew up in. The sponsor has been identified, but unlike most television programs, the performer hasn't been provided with a script. As a matter of fact, I have been permitted to choose my own words and discuss my own ideas regarding the choice that we face in the next few weeks. I believe that the issues confronting us cross party lines. Now, but I have an uncomfortable feeling that this prosperity isn't something on which we can base our hopes for the future. No nation in history has ever survived a tax burden that reached a third of its national income. Today, 37 cents out of every dollar earned in this country is the tax collector's share. And yet our government continues to spend $17 million a day more than the government takes in. We have $15 billion in gold in our treasury. We don't own an ounce. Foreign dollar claims are $27.3 billion. And we've just had announced that the dollar of 1939 will now purchase 45 cents in its total value. We're at war with the most dangerous enemy that has ever faced mankind in his long climb from the swamp to the stars. And it's been said if we lose that war, and in so doing, lose this way of freedom of ours, history will record with the greatest astonishment that those who had the most to lose did the least to prevent its happening. Not too long ago, two friends of mine were talking to a Cuban refugee, a businessman who had escaped from Castro. And in the midst of his story, one of my friends turned to the other and said, we don't know how lucky we are. And the Cuban stopped and said, how lucky you are. I had some place to escape to. And in that sentence, he told us the entire story. If we lose freedom here, there's no place to escape to. This is the last stand on earth. And this idea that government is beholden to the people, that it has no other source of power except the sovereign people, is still the newest and the most unique idea in all the long history of man's relation to man. Whether we believe in our capacity for self-government or whether we abandon the American Revolution and confess that a little intellectual elite in a far distant capital can plan our lives for us better than we can plan them ourselves. You and I are told increasingly we have to choose between a left or right. Well, I'd like to suggest there is no such thing as a left or right. There's only an up or down. Man's old, old age dream, the ultimate in individual freedom consistent with law and order, or down to the ant heap of totalitarianism. And regardless of their sincerity, their humanitarian motives, those who would trade our freedom for security have embarked on this downward course.